That was NBC, NBC in strong position, ABC less strong position. So I assume that Paul Lee got up there and talked about all the things that the network had done wrong and all the things they were going to do to correct those mistakes, right? That's not how Paul Lee rolls. He doesn't do that. He doesn't acknowledge mistakes. He doesn't explain mistakes. He was asked 50 different times why he never actually tried Trophy Wife even once on Wednesday at 9.30. He did not answer. He, he said that every time they tried it somewhere else, it just didn't get the uptick they wanted, as if somehow airing two episodes of repeats after the middle at random times when the middle was in repeats actually constituted an opportunity to give that show a sampling. Yeah, so, what do in, I know? but instead he did talk about something that's very interesting that ABC is doing, which is diversity. They are now somehow the most diverse network uh, among the broadcasters. Part of that is they've got three different shows created by Shonda Rhimes featuring minority actors in prominent roles, including now How to Get Away with Murder, starring Viola Davis. But they've also got um, Selfie, which has John Cho playing Henry Higgins. They've got Cristela with Cristela Alonzo. Um, and Blackish. Yes, Blackish. Created by, co-created by Anthony Anderson, you know, with Lawrence Fishburne, Tracy Ellis Ross, plus they have some mid-season shows, so they are clearly making an effort. Whether or not these shows are good, we will see, but at least in terms of better reflecting the actual composition of the population of America, ABC's doing okay. And sensing that we were actually excited about this, Paul Lee was very happy to talk about this and talk about authenticity and talk Oh, he loved it. He's like, I watch each of these shows and that family is me. That family that's fresh off the boat is me. He took a... No, that, br that family having a bro mitzvah is me. He talked, you know, he probably flew across the ocean, but he also is like a fish That man water. teaching Eliza Doolittle how to put away her cell phone is me. That's much more believable. I can totally buy Paul Lee as a Henry Higgins type. Um, Yes, so he was very pleased to talk about the things that the network is doing well, largely ignored the things that the network is doing poorly, Yay! So then we had a bunch of panels that could have been variably contentious that were, I would say, variably contentious. The Blackish panel was terrific. That, I mean, that had uh, Anderson, Lawrence Fishburne being a lunatic, and here, allow me to do my impression of Lawrence Fishburne on the Blackish panel. Hi, guys, it's good to see you. I'm just going to talk like this and freak everybody the heck out. Which, it should be noted, is actually entirely normal when Alan does it, and you just go, okay, that's Alan being Alan. But when Lawrence Fishburne does it, and Lawrence Fishburne is usually prone to being kind of quiet and kind of taciturn and all of that, it's a little bit different. Yes. I'm going to be doing both Hannibal and Blackish this season somehow. Exactly. So, But that was a really good conversation about race with, with Anderson and Larry Wilmore and, and everybody else. That was a good panel. Uh, Cristela was a terrific panel, largely because Cristela Alonzo was just so energetic and such a good advocate for herself and the show. I, I think that probably Cristela Alonzo ensured that we will mostly watch another episode or two of her show, which maybe the pilot was not necessarily going to make that many people do. Yeah, I mean, I watched the pilot and I did come out of it liking her, if not liking the show, so, but... This will get more, and this is sort of what Press Tour is all about, in a way. So, yes, yeah, so she was good uh, with Selfie. Karen Gillan was charming and Scottish, and Emily Kavnick explained that the show just wouldn't work if she had actually been Scottish at all. Bollocks. That's nonsense. You don't buy it? I don't buy it. When you have a woman with that accent who is that endearing with that accent, you find a way to justify it. I don't care how. Remarkably, we didn't even get into the fact that she's also completely uh, endearing with her with her post uh, Guardians of the Galaxy pixie cut, and she's wearing a ridiculous wig, and we didn't even talk about the wig, so... Uh, we were kind of all wigged out after the strain the week before, I think. Indeed. So, yes, so ABC. And we still have days coming up, of course, with Fox, FX, CBS, Showtime, Showtime CW, CW, and kind of. public television. And public television, which is at least giving us Downton Abbey, and therefore is giving us the thing that public television is good for. Snobby, Emmy-nominated Brits. <laughs> but we'll tell you more about that later. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitBix on Twitter or visit HitBix.com.